Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you yeah? can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem and this and that. One of the reasons why we don't have more women in politics in Nigeria is for as long as political meetings continue to take place in the middle of the night. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's really? disastrous for a president to, even to be unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. There could be a strategy. That strategy was it's a very, very, very <laughs> terrible <laughs> strategy. <laughs> because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities and quite frankly Nigeria is becoming a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. Welcome to The Advocate on Plus TV Africa, where five panelists hit you with five topical issues, no holes barred. I'll be kicking things off by throwing out the garbage. Time to ditch some cop-outs. Liberals continues the Save Our City crusade, this time looking at the matter of parking, or rather, no parking. Uche looks set to do some marriage counseling under the banner of Thou Shalt Not Commit Adultery. Here it is all about setting the record straight, beginning with a history lesson in music. Ekene takes it home by establishing some forgotten realities of her own as she talks of beggars who should be kings. Could that be us? So much to uncover. We better get started. For a better Nigeria, let's trash some cop-outs. One, do not judge others. Please do. Judge them so well and let them know the wrong they are doing or have done. Punish them where necessary and give a good talking to or slap on the wrist at other times. Turn them in if necessary. Do not worry, you will soon be judged too and punished. Two, let he who is without sin cast the first stone. Hmm. Please ensure that you cast stones at a wrongdoer. Do not see your brother or sister go astray while you hold stones in your hands. Stones are for throwing. Just throw them. You'll be stoned back later on anyway, because you will err. Uh... <laughs> Three, live and let live. What? Do not let anybody live wrong, even if you do. Surely, in spite of your sour lifestyle, you know right. Block his moves. Scold the other man, someone will scold you back. Let us start a chain reaction. As we say here on The Advocate, no holds barred. Shagari <laughs> was a good administrator, but uh, was a good man, but a bad administrator. So when he died, uh, you know, normal for Nigerians, this barrage of, uh, oh, we've lost a rare gem, you know, but um, my friend, um, uh, G.T. Ogunye penned a very beautiful article titled, Shagari was a good man but a bad administrator. Mm -hmm. And according to him, he didn't want you know, his deeds to be lost in the history of you know, that euphoria of oh, he was a good man and all of that. And so I, 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 I quite, um, you know, for us to have, I, I agree with you, for us to have a better Nigeria, call out the wrongs. Mm -hmm. If you do wrong also, let people call out your wrongs. Mm -hmm. And all those live and let live. If the man is not living well, <laughs> speak it out. And if you also don't live well, let people also say so. You know, and, and if we do that consistently, you know, this idea of, uh, oh, yes, uh, don't judge him. Let God be the judge. And the man is busy frittering our common wet away. And you say you don't want to judge. Well, there's, there's, there's another side to it as well. I mean, okay. let's try and broaden the discussion a little in the sense that when you talk of he that is without sin, I think you referenced that. Yeah. You should cast the first stone. I think what it's trying to, what it's saying, not what it's trying to say, is to do with, referencing the common man's deficiencies. So if you're going to make a judgment, and I know legal, legal tests, somehow they talk about the common man, the man in the street, the, the, man, the average man test. So you're not going to go and punish somebody in, in an ex ex extreme way when you know that this is something that a lot of people do. You, you, you'll be more proportionate in, your, in the way you judge. That's really what that is saying. So if you can honestly say, oh, I don't do this thing, and I'm, this thing is worthy of, you know, stoning to death, then go ahead. You know, so you judge according to what your conscience t tells you is the common man's test. So it's really actually a more proportionate way of going about it. It doesn't mean you won't judge, but if you're going to judge, judge in the context of what is familiar to you, what you yourself know you do and everyone else does. Mm -hmm. 
So the judgment will come, but it will come. A liberal, spare me witness. You know, no, you, I, I, the legal I, test of the of the no, man, the average man. Legal, but I don't think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the average yes, man. The reasonable man. The reasonable test. man's test. Thank yeah. you. As well. But I think I, I think what Chuka is saying. Okay, you're taking in the literary sense. Yeah, he's I'm trying speaking, to look at it from a balanced perspective. Yeah. I think. Am yeah. I wrong? Yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah. Yeah, he's speaking metaphorically. You're taking it. Yeah. And I think what he's saying, what I hear you saying, correct me if I'm wrong, is we need to be brave about interrogating, questioning, mm -hmm. challenging, yeah. and actually being accusatory mm -hmm. of yes, our correct. leaders. Okay. Correct. In Nigeria, the one thing that isn't appreciated or encouraged, as we've, as we've often said on this show, is for somebody to... Have you ever tried asking Nigeria? If a Nigeria said to you, Chuka, you're a good-looking man. Have you ever tried asking them, oh, really? Why do you say that? The minute you say, why? They're like, ah, was, why are you always troublemaking? Just accept the thing and go, Jerry. Oh, okay. Yeah, because so, I get it enough. You and the thing is... Know, I'll tell you. As in, yes, what, what are exactly, you saying? You're right. I'm, even using, I'm even using that as an example. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, I'm, I'm one of those people, like, I often will say... You want to challenge the status say, quo. Why do you say that? Because first, I want to seek to understand. Mm. And there is that thing in management that says, seek to understand before being understood. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a management thing. So okay. what I think, that's what I think I hear him saying is that... Okay. Like you said, Liboros, if somebody's pilfering our money, for goodness sakes, be frank, be, be brave and courage. Confrontation. Well, that's the word courage that I, I've been I looking for. I also think that courage. what Chuka is saying is, you know how it is when some, when um, what our leaders or uh, government is doing something wrong and then somebody now brings up, oh, but it was done in the past government. Yeah. Yeah. Iretti, you're guilty of that. Now, sorry, I, I, had, I, 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 I sorry, I had to bring it up, but that's you know, that's, um, that's the same of, people you support who ruled this country uh, for 16 years. Uh, you see what I mean? Oh, yeah. No, sorry, so, I mean, so, if you so want so to bring, what, it, what up, let's trying, bring it up, yeah, no, what we're talking years. about here is let's, let's call the, the okay. government of the day out. Let's not, did let's you call not, them out all the 16 years they were there? I bet you didn't. How do you know? Because were you I sitting with me? Let's see the writing on Facebook. No, check it out. Ask anybody. I was a big critic of. <laughs> the same GEJ that most people think I, I was supporting. Yeah. I was a big critic of him. So yeah. it doesn't mean, you know, but all I'm saying is that we shouldn't, if we're always going back and saying, right. oh, uh, the past government did that, so it, that I, kind, so yeah, don't I, say, I don't, like don't judge this yeah. government. No, I've because never said you not no, to that's, judge. No, that's a lot of what but happens. But you guys though. talk about precedents as well. See, you see, Legal where, precedents. You, you ask the question, Chuka, you asked where did it all start? Yes. It started from our cultural orientation. Thank you. The king can do no wrong. Yes. OK, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find where Chuka yes. is going. Maybe you're yes. helping me with this, have this Yes. We have this mentality of the king can do no wrong. Mm -hmm. and, and so uh, and you can't the question king is the always king. right. Yes. You can't question him. But we forget also that in those days, the king must be above board. Yes. Mm -hmm. There are things that the king would do that would bring disgrace to the throne. Correct. That would not be accepted. Accepted. Yeah. And in some cases, the king will even be asked to go commit suicide. Yes. But here, we... So, so they're held to a higher moral standard. Yes, they're yes. held up to a higher mor moral standard. But here, we forget that the politicians that we equate with kings now do not have the same high moral standard that the king of the we're held of those to. days. Oh, we're these kings yes. you're even no, talking I, about. He's talking about our cultural our kings. Culture. I'm giving you a background. In traditional in kings. Towns, yeah, and, so, yes. and, and so these and days we still part. carry over that mentality mm. of the king can do no wrong. Yes. And that's why... So we're too we deferential. Say, ah, eh, he's old enough to be your father. Uh -huh. eh, are you talking about the president the like that? Yes, exactly. He's old enough to be your... The mm. thing is that he has committed a wrong. Yeah. And so we should call out the There's wrong. that one but as the well. And then there's another angle of, I know so many people that do this, you know, they, uh, you say, oh, this man, he's corrupt, he's stolen. He's, someone will say, ah, please, <laughs> forget so that mean. nonsense. That if you were in power, you too, you would we do that agree. same thing. So, okay. you know. So we're and, hiding behind the yes, problem. Yes, so that's what people do. Often. Yes, so everybody not, does it. Rather than calling yeah. it out and saying yes. that this is a terrible ill, uh, you know, against society, yes. Yes. we're busy saying, oh, stop judging. Yes. You too, you'll be, and, and that's you'll be doing thing. exactly the same thing. Judge. We must yes. be courageous. Judges. Yes. We, because you will be judged as well. Mm. And, it, and it takes courage. The courage that we lack in this country. But then that reminds when, me of Uche's no, thing on we're OBJ. Not a, when, we're not a country of courageous okay, people. Yes. We've agreed not that on this place. Mm. Yeah. In this place several times. And I think when we're able to do that. We're not a country when, of courageous, courageous people. people. When we're able to be courageous. And look, you've said about That's that guy that got... Um, 
Are you not that got that, um, mm. what's his name? Mm. The one that got put in jail on Deji Blow. Yeah, okay. uh, uh, Deji Blow. That's the one. You've mentioned about him. And people do get, how should they, scared? Not because they don't want to speak out. Look at that thing that I shared on, on our group yesterday, which was quite funny. Mm. If I was to share that on Twitter, yeah. I could actually be in a lot of trouble. Okay. Whereas this is where you then, and I hate to bring this in, sorry. Brexit, what is going on in the UK right now? in terms of Brexit and the democracy, is exactly how democracy should be run. Where you get to the people are challenging. Authorities. They are, they're challenging the politicians, and the politicians are challenging each other, and they're interrogating each other, mm. and they're actually having to vote according to their conscience. Well, let, let, me, give you some, let me give you some good news. It may be a small revolution, but it oh. made me happy. Oh, you know, okay. this week, as usual, the third lane just showed up out of nowhere, heading towards the toll bridge, and I blocked them. I stood my ground. I said, whatever, you're not passing me. The siren were blaring. I blocked them, came out. And people started blocking them with me. So everybody now queued up. They didn't go beyond my car. Yeah. And, and we all TV. waited our yeah. turn. I said, correct. Since, uh, you know. oh, so mm -hmm. um, well, uh. that was um, quite a cocktail of opinions, but never mind. Liberals gives us an unflattering bird's eye view of our mega city after the break. You're watching The Advocate on Plus TV Africa. Time for a critical look at our city. Whoever gives approval for construction of a building without proper planning for parking of cars in Nigeria is as wicked as the man who constructs an internal road without adequate preparation for bus stops. Why do we build mega cities without proper planning in Nigeria? Or are the cities just mega in conception than in actual sense? Take a drive around the whole of Lagos you begin to wonder if the town planners ever had the faintest idea that Lagosians were going to drive cars. As provisions are either intentionally not made for car parking of cars or bus stops, or where cars, car park are made, they are not enough to accommodate the inhabitant of the property, not to talk of visitors. Even modern buildings in Victoria Island are not excluded from this menace, as people often run late for meetings in these places while searching for a place to park, and it happened to me today. Lagos Island most times is a no-go area during working hours because of the parking bottlenecks associated with driving downtown. A drive to some of the other residential areas, too numerous to mention, Alak Uko, Alak Badog, Bagada, Bariga. For a first-time visitor to Lagos, we send shivers down your spine as both sides of a street can be blocked with cars of residents for lack of adequate proper parking space. Governor Kim Miyabode didn't need to be a magician to know that creating bus stops or the ever busy beggar to Yanowo Road will ease traffic bottleneck. How come other governors ever saw it? One begins to wonder if we can't deal with an issue as minute as creating parking space and bus stop for our motorists, then how do we think we can deal with the bigger issues associated with being a mega city? <clears throat> yeah, okay. Um, I definitely, I agree with everything you said, but um, there's, let me bring in the UK here. The best way to um, relieve parking, because the truth is, even if you create parking, how much parking can you truly create? So the best way to relieve parking or you know, prevent the need for too much parking is to improve our public transportation system. If we do that, then many people will need to go with their cars to everywhere, but unfortunately, you know, we, we have a terrible, um, you know, public transportation system. So this is the reason why we're all doing this. I, I totally agree with you. Parking is a yes. huge problem. Even in my estate, park, cars are parked all over the place. If people have parties, oh my God, you know, before you will leave the estate, you will know yourself. So I, I really wish we could just at least try and sort out our public transportation system. That will help ease the but problem. But I, 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 you know, I still want to back up a bit and go back to his original statement, which is to do with the planning. You know, okay, so I'll do they even plan in advance for parking? They plan, but look at the okay. I love, so because I love, you have, build, I love you have buildings because where if only they, you knew the amount of urban planning yeah. that but went they, into they Lagos. Yeah. But what I'm you need to, so, 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 where, so where, where, so where is the bottleneck? Planning. Is it in the enforcing? No, no. Because, no. Like for, for example, no. what, what I'm seeing, for example, is let's take a place I know. There's a building that came there, a massive building. It's a school. And then recently, another tall building has come up, and it's residential. And there's a building, so basically, you have it sandwiched between two. And I'm saying this can't have been in the plan. Maybe there's some some money has exchanged hands because why is this being tolerated? They're so close to each other, and they're all like three, four-story 
you know, this can't be the plan. I'm going to let the experts speak before I, well, I do my see, thing. I said, uh, you know, so is it corruption? Where well, is it going wrong? Saying, I said in last that. week's um, um, episode that Nigeria is what it is. It's a very, Come we're, again. We're, 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 in a, we're in bad shape, and so it has to show in every facet of our lives. Okay. So I don't see any difference with the town planners. Yes, when you submit drawings for approval, um, they have to obey the laws. So the buildings that don't have parking space actually had in a drawing. Yeah. But when, okay. it, when it comes to building it, they build up the area meant for cars to get more rent. That's the owner's. Space. That's the owner's. Wow. And nobody goes to check that then, they comply. Well, those who go to check, because they do, then will they be bribed. Money exchanges hands. Then money exchanges hands. Then the building is ready, and then the problem starts. And it will take a government that is really ready to deal with the problem to go to that building and, and demolish, demolish it and, and, sorry, and pull them down lesson. what they built, say, on the ground floor, which was meant for parking, yes. because you don't have to demolish the whole building. Yeah. <laughs> Bring down the ground floor <clears throat> and evacuate the rubbish and tell them to clean up and park there. But I, I mean, so, I, I have to, sorry, that's number one. I, I yeah. agree with all, but even in the UK, I yes. can tell you when, the when I lived there, we, I lived in a block of flats in a particular area yes. and there was very basically they were, we were only allowed one parking space yes for just for one car yes. so if you had two cars yes. you're just going to get yourself in a mess you're going to have to go and look for yes. somewhere where you can now pay for, for dedicated the, parking for the, for space and that'll be so thing. far away so here's some from where the, from where that actually I live. where you can why you can't use the UK uh -huh. when it comes to Lagos Ambody that you mentioned said in 2017 he made a speech to do with this whole urban planning and said 83 people moving to Lagos per mm. hour. Yes. Okay. Per, per hour. Mm -hmm. for, no, per hour. I think out of the 200, and I forget the exact statistics, you'll have to check it for our viewers, but I think um, uh, maybe five years ago, to, they, they did a statistics on the amount of cars that came into, La into Nigeria. Yes. The majority of them mm -hmm. end in Lagos. Yes. That's number That's two. Correct, yeah. Number three is in 2005, Lagos was in the top 10 cities where people migrated to. This was from Facebook. Oh, no, not, not even, even surprised that's what I'm just, So this is why you can't even begin to bring in no, the London statistics. No, because, the point, no, no, what I'm, no, let me go <laughs> let me explain no, my allow, point. No, 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 so I'll tell you what. Like no, it's not that. Woman. I'm just saying, let me, let me just finish. So when it comes to planning, the planning is there. When it comes to parking, what you said about public transport makes a lot of sense. However, that's how many of us here mm -hmm use public transport. So it comes back to uh, what you no, were saying no, no. about us this as a your, people. Uh, yes, I'm saying but the public transport... What's APC let, got to do with parking? Yeah, the public me, transport can be made uh, to be good. Let, yes, let, attractive. That's what right. right. no, no, but when was the last time you were on a keke No, that's because it's not attractive. Because it's not attractive. No, but why does it need to be attractive? The tube is filthy. But you use it. The tube is filthy. I use the keke So out of everybody here, you don't use a keke I've used the keke it doesn't mean it's not first, I've never used let's, it. Let's Admit. take this home. But it's actually let's dangerous. Let's let's take it. You said, <laughs> when we say, yes, you now you have the numbers of people that come in. Exactly. You have the numbers of cars that come in. So what are you doing? About it. About it. 30% more have, roads have been built in Lagos than it was about, before. And, and oh. No, that's what, I, 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 I comes down to it, well, That's what I'm saying. Let me, let you me, keep doing things wait, to accommodate the most. Okay, when Chuka just okay, said about finish and I would, and when I, you're I, wrong, say, when somebody's wrong, tell him he's wrong. Mm. He took, I, just, I said something about Ambody building bus stops on mm -hmm. that Yanowuru. Yeah, you said. How come nobody thought about it? Mm. And you saw how it eased it's traffic. The congestion. Yeah. How come somebody built that road didn't remember that we were supposed to be bus stops? That's what I'm talking about. And I'll and put you to you. I bet me, you there me, was a bus land, stop there that the yellow buses never let used. Land, no, it is that. You would be surprised. There was, no, there was it none. Was never it was, built. It was, it was um, an adopt It's the same way creation. they build roads. Yeah. And, and I'm so you find out that we talk about we, you know, planning. The, the, the problem from the foundation, I've been issues, was that there was no effective planning. Mm. We're talking about, yeah, I agree with you, if we encourage public mass transport, you know that, yes, <coughs> You have a lot of people, and so you think of the transportation that will move instead exactly. of thinking of the one that will move 30 people at the. Because, at because the time, my point you is, think I don't of believe the one you that can, will move 500 people from point A to point B. For, you never can. And, and so when you do that, when you do that, you know there are not enough parking. <coughs> How many people drive to 
to Zone 1 in London. Mm -hmm. Because you know parking is very Because expensive. you need to pedestrianize. Have, That's what needs to happen. Because they have prepared no, Pedestrianization is what needs they to happen. Have prepared if we do all the parking. Quickly, okay. before, before, we, before we close, yeah, I, I need to dispel this thing about there wasn't planning in Lagos. There was planning many, many years ago. The planning has seen... I'm not talking about Lagos. Lagos no, no, no. But, oh, no, but you talked about... In no, but, okay, yes, right. Okay, I'm, I don't know. Yeah. I can't speak for other cities in Nigeria because but, I haven't lived there. Abuja, I can actually speak for because we know that Abuja planning. And since El Rufai left Abuja, you can even see how people are complaining that nobody's sticking to the master plan anymore in Abuja. So fundamentally, it's about us as a people. We yes. don't... BRT lanes, so what they use it. The, Yet there are BRT lanes. Yes, I think we're saying the same thing. We're saying the same thing. We're saying the same thing. There was planning, but, think, but it's not being enforced. I think, the, being the, yeah, enforced. I think the crux of the matter is that. Well, what plan, you were plan, saying plan, at the beginning. Planners, yes, planners are like us. Yes. They actually don't plan very well. Yes. Even if somebody comes up with a very good plan, they will cut it to budget. Yep. Budget that they feel they can spend on it, yeah. not what they actually have in the pocket that they mm. could have spent. Okay. And so there are all sorts of issues that make the, the end result very, very poor. And so I don't see that we're going to improve that much for a very long time because it takes huge money, will, and so on to Thank you. get these things done. Well, um, can we ever say enough about our cities? We have to leave it there, which is poised to expose the skeleton in the marriage closet after the break. <laughs> You're watching The Advocate on PLOS TV Africa. Time to lay it bare. Lately, I feel like there's been a change in the way both men and women view adultery. Wives no longer see adultery as grounds for divorce or even separation. The response I get is, all men cheat, so why should I leave my home, all that I have worked for, for another woman to come and enjoy? The men I've discussed this matter with see it as no big deal and suggest that it helps to improve their marriages. Many tell me that there is a big difference in when a man cheats and when a woman cheats. Get this, according to them, a man cheating is harmless to his marriage because it's not about love, it's just a physical thing, whereas fe feelings are usually involved when a woman cheats. I've also heard men say that having a girlfriend is necessary because a wife cannot be a girlfriend. In other words, each plays a specific and necessary role. It seems adultery has become commonplace, something to be expected and accepted. Well, I beg to differ. Adultery isn't something we should take lightly. The fact that in the Bible, it is the only permissible grounds for divorce as stated in Matthew 5, 32, should indicate its seriousness. Extramarital affairs have major negative effects that can be felt for some time. The person who has been cheated on will suffer a blow to his or her self-esteem. They may have the usual thoughts of, was I not enough? Or, if I hadn't let myself go, this would not have happened. The victim of an affair will find it difficult to trust. He or she may doubt their judgment of others. Even if this relationship ends and another begins, the baggage of infidelity can follow. There is a sense of emotional instability. You may feel your world has turned upside down. The things in your life that gave you a sense of security have been shattered. So, in case you're thinking of embarking on an illicit affair, or a casual fling, as you may call it, may you bear in mind that it may spell the end of your marriage or may have lasting negative repercussions on your relationship. Bravo. I rest my case. Very well done. You can see how I <laughs> was. Because some people... I mean, but you see, the funny Bravo. thing is that I keep saying some that... Some people... I know it's very Are you looking at me? I know it's very difficult yeah. to take. But yeah. you see, when you said the man does his cheating only in the physical. That's what the men tell me. And that's what the men tell you. I tell you now, it is absolutely true. I don't think so. Now, no, 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 no. I didn't yeah, say it has changed. He's I didn't, not I didn't, asking I didn't us say, to agree. I, I didn't say He's stating his case. case. I'm a human being. I, I, no, I didn't say it is good. I said it is it true. It is true. Right? I, I don't, I don't even is, accept it, either one. When it is not physical. I'm not dealing with the good or bad. I'm, I'm is involved and uh, you are being controlled by the woman. You're a human being. Or, so, human so tell me how come but, but many men then end up with divorced. But yes, we haven't let you can finish oh, no, 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 let, no, 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 let him let him land. I think local statistics, that means the one we've not measured, but we know anyway. Don't ask me how I know. But local statistics would tell us that 
it is not true that many men who have affairs divorce. It's actually the opposite. I tell you, they are doing physical I don't know where things, you're getting these and they are ready to statistics come back from. Home. If they've divorced, it is that the wife has refused to accept that that was what he could do and still stay. My goodness. Now, yes. it's the wife's oh, fault. Right. No, 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 it's the wife's fault for not accepting. No, no, no. Um, see, this what is I'm saying actually, is that... The wife is now the one that has caused the divorce. Like, was just, I'm, not, what I'm, saying, I'm telling you that when a man tells you I didn't mean anything more than what I... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Chuka's thing is even bugging me. Sorry. No, no, no. Let, sorry, let sorry, me just sorry, say... Sorry. No, no, no. Please, because please. you well, say something and then I will no, no, get no, more offense. So that I will add to it, then you can... Then I can, I can explode. explode. You don't let Chuka speak like that often. I'm a very man. I will take it from a cultural, historical perspective. Cultural and historical. Yes. This shit going on here. Yes. It's a borrowed word. Borrowed. You know? Uh, mm -hmm. cheating mm -hmm. and culturally a cultural upbringing you know um, Nigerian man the average Nigerian man growing up it was normal to have three wives four wives even in Igbo tradition mm -hmm. the more children you have the more rich <coughs> you are presumed to be, to be yeah. um, in, I was dispute for that the Muslims, anyway, for me. the Muslim it is traditional for you to have four wives mm. Provided you can love them equally, and wonder how you love four women equally, <laughs> but they all have four wives, and some, for some, they will tell you, look, traditionally I can even have five, and and so, when you now come with this metropolitan, oh. you know, stand of cheating, yes, agreed. These days, because of I'm um, calling it adultery. Yeah, well, okay, wait, yes, wait, uh, give but it you a use name. the word cheating in him. Yeah. You know, even the Bible was the one that used adultery, mm. adultery, adultery. And, and I want to support what you guys say. For the man, for the man, it's um, like, look, a man, five women can go on holiday, have fun, enjoy themselves, and not think of a man and come back. But five men can go on holiday. The first night, the second night, they're discussing. Sorry, right. Libra, let me come and in. Sorry, let me come in. Yeah, that. sorry, I want no, to. Let me round, round are, up. Are you rounding up? <laughs> yes, I'm rounding up. Oh, Chuka. So that's why Chuka Your number has been written down. Yes, if the okay, men okay, truly okay. tells you no, okay, no, no, no string, at, string attached. <laughs> truly, no string attached. But I'm not encouraging these days, you know. So, cheating, cheating. I'm not encouraging it. You know, have you finished? But <laughs> if you look at it from the traditional perspective, he's a lawyer. They don't finish. You know, but if you look at it from the modern perspective, yes, I, 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 I buy your idea because this, this is no such a big deal. Idea. Women are doing it, men are doing it. But then, in a society, we should choose which one to follow. Okay. And that's where I want to end. Yeah. Okay. If you want to follow yeah. the okay, Western ways, follow it. Okay. If you want to Let me make my point quickly because no your point is, 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 is that I want to be a stealing oxygen man. from yeah. my, my segment. <laughs> but so, what I was going to say is as far as this cultural reference you're making, it only stops. It, or it stops or it starts where two people come into an agreement. That's what so, I'm saying. So let me if finish. You You've been speaking. Let me land my point. Let me land my from point. From the word go, let, let me land now. That. You want to Look talk for me. I'm not a one Let me land, brother. Yeah, I agree with you. The point I'm making is that no matter what history you're referring to, it, it begins or ends where two people are in an agreement. So if I'm getting married to someone and we both agree that it's going to be a monogamous relation, that's what it's going to be. You yeah. can't later start referencing your forefathers mm -hmm. as an excuse to break that you. agreement. Let me finish. I agree with you. Let me finish. The reference is this. The women is cheating. Let me the end my point. It's funny when it's cheating. Women, we haven't been able to speak. I'm, I must talk. <laughs> and I'm going to talk. So like the point I'm going to, I'm making as well, in addition mm. to that, is, you know, if a man says, oh, I cheat, and I only cheat with my body, you, you cheat with them. The person you're, you're cheating on right. has a soul. So there are two parties to this. So the fact that you can go and have that fling and go away and nothing touches you, completely. and the, meanwhile you're breaking you. the heart of the person you love. I'm, I'm sorry, agree with you it completely. cannot I'm end there. So, there. No, I'm not disagreeing with you. I agree with you. Agree with you. With okay. Kine, of course. Yes. That's That's also, okay. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, from the word go, let the party know. If you are marrying, say, look, I'm a traditional man. Sometime down the line, I'm going to marry another one. If she agrees to marry you, fine. That's why it's called cheating. And they don't I'm usually so, do that. Oh, they so they don't usually do they that. If you want to follow the Western way, you stick to that one and say, okay, this is what we are doing. And so for the woman too, fine. Ereti has yes. had her mouth open for but so long. Because I, really I, want want to to I want to go back. I want to. I want to go back to just to get back on the point mm. that you all were men saying. Cheat. Yeah, you know. That's what they're um, saying. Ridiculous. You're saying all men cheat. As if. No, no, no I, uh, didn't, I didn't say uh, all I, uh, men. I, said, I have no. I said you. What this one, you. you. I point to this direction. <laughs> off, off camera. Can I? <laughs> it was, it was, it was off camera. <laughs> 
So you're saying the you're saying the average man, I average mean, Nigerian man. It's, it's made I need image. somebody to draw what the average Nigerian man looks that like. That goes on holiday. Because I so don't you know, buy that. Put words Allow, in my mouth. Oh, you said average Nigerian yeah, man. I said now. what she said. He said you, you said average Nigerian man. You said average. Did you not say average no, Nigerian man? He said the average Nigerian man goes, goes on holiday. Goes on holiday. And something something for five. You said average Nigerian man. I would like to know where what the average Nigerian man looks like. However, I will put it out. <laughs> I will put it out there that I don't agree with both of you that most men think mm -hmm. the way you said um, in your script, which I forget the, quote, the exact mm -hmm. quotes now, what you said in your script. I think men are often, I think for, there are men who do not cheat, who don't believe in adultery, exactly. who are perfectly satisfied and fulfilled. They are not with the average. I break. Yes. Let me, I let you judge. finish, oh, who are perfectly... <laughs> Fulfilled, unlike Liberace's mm. grandfather that he keeps referring to uh, off camera. Yes, who are perfect. our grandparents had tight cheeks. <laughs> who, who are perfect? Know what he's talking about. Who are perfectly fulfilled, mm. you know, and happy with one exactly. woman, be it their girlfriend, their partner, or their wife. Yeah. There are men like that. However, what happens in this society, right? And I think in a lot of society, but let's bring it home. More so in this society is that because it is expensive expected that men will cheat. Men who don't cheat, when they're amongst their boys, they're forced to behave like a member of the gang. Mm. Like, ah, oh boy, me so too. Like yes. me, thank you. Like me you too. Because they now. will laugh at because it. Really, because my ex would always me. say, my ex, yeah. after the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, this after is the show. After, <laughs> you know, like my ex would always say quite proudly, I never cheated yeah, with Yeah, that's a real man. Everybody would always, ah, he's not true. And I would say, but why is it not true? Exactly. I believe him. Mm -hmm. Why is it that you, no, on mind. the outside, yeah, are the ones not, that have problems? It's 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 if majority of men believe that, you know, cheating is no big deal, that having a girlfriend no, 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 and all no, these things. No, no, no men, that's how. That's, that's what that, you're making it sound like. That's what you guys are making it sound no. like. Okay, oh, no. That is something that we should expect and accept. Mm -hmm. So all I'm saying is that, you know, why then come and be taking marriage Vows that you have, you don't no believe in. Yes, of keeping. Uh, uh, you know, Uche. to have eyes to hold. And when a woman Uche. cheats, it's different. We haven't even Uche. talked about when a woman what cheats. What I said, uh, what I episode. said, that's is, another episode. Yeah. There is yeah. a historical background. That's why you have this thing so rampant in this part. Yeah, of the world. No, I have. To, I, I actually have to round up. Okay, while well, we let that one simmer, it's time to hear from you on our advocacy on the matter of it is well. Dillis writes. We have imbibed religion as an end rather than a means to an end. So ultimately, I'm, I am spiritual or religious because I love God and want to go to heaven. But what we see, love God, trust in him, and then wait for the heavens to open. And he, bright light with chariots, come with that magic wand to change your fortune. Secondly, our religious leaders have to have so exploited society into thinking that if you are not doing so well, it is because you are not doing something right for God. God made man, go Gabe. God gave him brains, sorry. God made us to do good and rejuvenate society. We certainly ask for his guidance and not just a stamp of approval, but we should not sit back and cross our legs and wait for a miracle. Miracles come through God-given people, by the way. The same with evil comes through people. We have just mixed it all up and driven ourselves into a comfort zone because we have convinced ourselves that it is what God wants. Adobe Moye says of Brexit and the breakdown of shared goals. I saw today's episode. That Brexit matter is not an easy one. Not sure if May will get the deal she's bargaining for. The initial support has waned considerably. Joy says on Brexit, totally agree with your take on Brexit, Ekene. I think individuals should learn to make decisions objectively and not let their prejudices affect their ability to understand the realities of the issues at hand. Individuals who are in positions of power to make decisions that affect the whole nation should be less selfish, yeah. swallow their pride when realized how their earlier decisions will affect their subjects and work together to find a way forward without compromising democracy. Do keep your comments coming in on Facebook at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, on Instagram and Twitter at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. We love hearing from you. Let's go for a quick break, and when we return, Ireti is going to teach us a lesson. 
You're watching The Advocate on Plus TV Africa. Time to highlight matters for the classroom. I'm calling it Bring Back Our History. Just last week, writer, journalist and cultural critic Molara Wood put aside her schedule to educate some young Nigerians home and abroad about how Nigerian and African music has been dominating the world stage from time immemorial. Her series of tweets were triggered by a post from a Nigerian living abroad who wrote, quote, I saw this on my way to work this morning. It was impossible in the UK a few years ago for Nanja Acts to headline a festival, proud of Whiskey. Like Molara, these inaccurate proclamations have long been a bugbear of mine. And going by the 2,300 plus retweets of Molara's intervention, it has also been a bugbear of others, which led to several people posting tales and evidence to use social media language, receipts to speak of giants such as King Soniade, Queen Salawa Abeni, Felek, and Nikola Kukuti, Osita Osadebe, Rex Lawson, Kwam Wan, and many more performing on stages around the world, not just as opening acts, but as crowd commanding concert headliners attended by international audience. So what is causing this ignorance? Many started to ask. At Bisi Alimi perhaps summed it up in his tweet where he wrote, this is what happens when we deny the youth their past. What do we even teach in music history in Nigeria? Close quote. I would go even further to ask, is history actually taught in Nigerian schools? Regular viewers of this program, program will know that it is a topic I've bemoaned in a previous episode, that in reference to the absence of the Biafran war in our history curriculum. So my message today is directed at the government, in particular to the following stakeholders, Minister of Education, State Governance, Permanent Secretaries of Education, Commissioner of Education, Jamp, Wayek and others, too numerous to mention. Bring back our history and make it mandatory, a mandatory subject for primary one through to secondary school certificate. And watch, just watch how one simple act can empower and change the mindset of a generation positively. To quote Malara Wood, the ignorant kill their own gods. Mm. Very well, very, I like the last bit about making it compulsory all the way to school certificate level. Because I remember back in our days when you had to choose the number of O levels you do, and it was eight was the maximum. Abroad it was a lot easier because you could do 12 over a space of two years and all that. But here it was just eight subjects and, you, and so you had to drop something. And I remember that the subject I regretted drop, had, dropping but I just had to was history. Mm. Um, so I, and anyway, they taught me three years anyway, so that was fine. Yeah. It's not and like then, now that they don't teach you anything. Yeah. It, and it, it, it was regrettable. It's not about I dropping had. history. I did history up to class five. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And what was the history we were taught? Exactly. Okay. This went down the, food, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. 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 The people of America. Yeah. Oh, America okay. versus yes. Pusse, yes. Okay. Okay. Vasco da Gama. World War I. World War II. And then yeah. um, you now come to the history. You, you know, the uh, Oyo Empire, mm -hmm. yeah. the um, uh, 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 Bini Empire, and all, mm. all of that. Mm. Even if you talking about history, I think we should be more flexible with our history. Mm -hmm. Nobody would, even in, in music class, mm -hmm. we're taught less of the history, you know, of music. Yeah. And then some of these people you mentioned were seen more as renegades, you know. And so I remember also, I think it was in Switzerland or so, when Fela went to perform. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the press described him as, no, Obasanjo went as president in 1979, uh, 1978 or so, visited the country. And then he was described as the president from Fela's country. Mm. You know? And, and so that was how big a music industry yes, was, was there. Yeah. And whoever made that tweet was just really, <laughs> it was a shoddy job. Yeah. Because it, it, to me, it's not even about needing a history lesson. Mm. If you're going to make a tweet saying that somebody is the first ever to do something, all you need to do is Google. Exactly. It's a As simple I say, thing, ask can't just Google. Google. She's but very generous. I also think that there's, um, there's even something worse than not even having um, history uh, made compulsory is 
feeding people with a false history. And I think we're having to deal with that now. I mean, there's been a lot of stuff rewritten. Like, I don't believe, even if they introduce the Biafran history today, that they will tell it like it is. They'll probably yeah. tell oh, it. Oh, I, I beg to differ. They'll I don't tell it in a different... Because you have professors who can testify, oh, well, who are still alive, well, everybody has his who own can account. testify. No, you read yeah, Obasanjo's yeah, account. But, it's different from Abhi Samar's account. No, but I'm saying that, no, but I'm saying that the one that may be approved so. in the classroom exactly. is different. Exactly. Well, can they be different yeah. because each, each government government has something to protect. They Propaganda. might not want, yes, they might not want uh, people to rise up as a result of hearing what truly went on. They might not, they don't want a reaction. So there's some history that you might find may never get back into the classroom. I, 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 I mean, I wanted, I wanted Chuka to go a bit. Exactly. Chuka, can I connect to No, I'm, I'm still trying to digest yeah. what you're saying because I'm, I'm feeling, well, that's sad because that's the one area we can unite behind because yes. that's the area because we yeah. keep saying want to be one this is where we can now consolidate our identities behind a history lesson i did yes. ask mm. my children don't do history they do a combined thing of history comes in with social studies geography social studies. but they don't do a, a civic. history yeah civic. yeah civic so, education. Yeah. yeah and i'm just thinking you know as you're talking it's almost like it's dawning on me that this is a tool that hasn't been utilized and deliberately so and i'm thinking yeah, it is a what's a waste so because yeah. it could really galvanize mm. people's sense of because identity even, yeah. even in and states, values sorry yeah. even in states they do complain like the black people say that they're they not given black that black history there is whitewashed. whitewashed it's yeah. like it's not. No, and I'm sorry, I just wanted to also add. Let me, let me just add as, uh, also as a question because I don't really know Whiskey's background to that extent. But I'm <laughs> saying to myself, maybe because he was so good at pushing the populist, you know, so that's why he seems larger than no, life. Because no, even, no, no. even when you go online, thing. you see that they say, oh, no, no, no because you see articles thing. like, you see, it's I'm coming, let me say, you see articles like, oh, you know, he's the first person to play to a sold out concert in London. Because they are ignorant and there's no. but it's online, it's there, you know. Remember, there was no yeah. internet the president, back in those the days. The president wasn't even known. Yes, he was, yeah, was Fela that was known. Fela. So he, let's you know, not even so make it. Yeah, but I'm saying maybe he's been successful. No, 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 no there was no internet. The way we can also, you know, push this is what we are doing now. Uh, you find that we also need to encourage reading culture. Mm. Yes. You know, I, I, I take time to buy, you know, biographies, autobiographies. Yeah, those are useful. You know, le they to say the history more. of this world is but the biography of great men. Mm. And I'm so to learn more. We can also encourage Chuka reading said culture. Stop quoting. Mm. You know, and, and <laughs> so when you, when you when you encourage reading yeah. culture, even if you are not taught these things in school, you can actually go online, read and about piece it them, together. piece it together, I and I'm like, know. wow. I, I think this generation I, I, I is think a lost this generation cause. I'm saying we can encourage. Wow. I, know, I agree with you. I agree with you, but, but, but what I'm even talking about, what, what I'm even, what yeah. I'm even, what, yeah. what I worry oh about very much is, it's one thing that Uche said earlier, where she said, you know, all it takes is to go and do a small, bit of research yeah. as to who you know who's, if anybody else has ever sold it's not just the young generation that does it that's the travesty yeah, no, it's recently now. a show a nigerian show has gone to south africa they put a post and honestly this is god honest truth they put a post on instagram and wrote this particular, I'm trying not to name names. Yes. Okay. This particular show is on the way to south africa the second show uh, to go to South Africa after Ipitombi. Yeah. Please, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, yeah, yeah. where is Ipitombi? Ipitombi is a South Nigeria. African show yes, that came to Nigeria. Nigeria. We watched Look it at, at the they National Arts Theatre. That was a week ago, and mm. they haven't corrected it. No, they're not Now, corrected. some young when person... When people like Sonia, yeah. these days we're selling out well, South yeah, Africa. Some young person is going to go there and so say, I'm Ipitombi is Nigerian. I need waiting. to bring this to a close. I trust you found that informative. After the break, Ekene will be reminding us of our royal lineage. You're watching The Advocate on Plus TV Africa. Time to raise the bar. Ever heard the expression, na condition may crefis bend? The carnival outside Jagaban's residence during election time may well bring that expression to mind. A crowd of destitute people unashamedly waiting on their cots. In the midst of, all, of it all, a certain politician is caught on camera saying, as if in jest, bring your hand, I will put money in it. Or words to that effect. Some of us are seriously not amused. Whose money is it anyway? The notorious bullion vans? Is it not a case of the tail wagging the dog? Nigerians are the beggars who should be kings. Everyone appears immune to the shame that would ordinarily keep us from stooping low. People habitually harassing those they see as the haves at their place of work. Road traffic officers, airport officials, car park attendants, all are your boys or girls, all are loyal. 
all are asking for something to mark the happy Friday or, or happy Monday. We're a desperate people indeed. We must get desperate about rediscovering our dignity. Corruption is a disease that spreads as if airborne. I wonder who fooled us into thinking it was a politician's disease. Who were we before condition come make us bend? We were the Iroko tree, tall and proud, defiant in the face of adversity. We are kings, not beggars. Yeah, I, I rest my case. I don't stand know. tall. I, I wish, I wish, I wish <laughs> we could even remember that far back because uh, is it so far what? back? It's I mean, far. That, means you are, that means you are of this generation. Yeah, well, I, I am because I mean, millennium. I'm looking at it. I'm thinking, okay, when we're colonized, we we're kind of made yeah, we're kind of made there. to feel you know lower than yes, the so-called kings and the, right. and then after the uh, colonization was done with our our people then went about doing you know the same sort of thing mm -hmm. to us mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then you know now we are just at a point where we have no shame we have no dignity it's all about survival you know we just people are just begging any which way you know just trying to grab whatever they can grab so i i just feel like i can't even remember a time I, I think it would be hard for many Nigerians to remember a time when they were even so-called Iroko, Iroko trees, kings and queens no, 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 and no. what I, I, I still remember very well. You remember, well. eh? Very, very well. <laughs> it, it takes me back to hmm. the topic, history. You know, I remember, I still remember where, when we were contented, you know, with that little that your parents could provide and then no matter how, how bad you, you think it was, they could still hold their head high well, that's and true. tall and say, look, I won't bend the process just to please yeah, you. Yeah, that's true. You know, I remember my uncle, uncle, I was broke. I wanted to go to school and somebody came with a pack of envelope telling him, oh, I just uh, take this now. You know, you are the head of procurement. And he said, look, it's my job. I don't need to, you know? So, but, when you don't pass down this history, these mm. values, or when you pass them down, you retire from the civil service and then you are unable to collect pension. Exactly, it's the conditions. And so that condition now bends the crayfish. Mm -hmm. yep. And so the man who collected everything, he's, because the society does not punish him, mm. All right. he's rewarded. He's rewarded with chitesi title just uh -huh. because the king also, he needs to eat from him. Mm. He rewards him with cheap Tennessee title. Oh, Unlike when nobody would want to touch him with a long pole or nobody would want to marry from his family because they'll say, ah, they are thieves, so, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. But now we celebrate words. Nobody's asking questions. Where did it come from? I remember Professor Noche, I'll call his name, I, I kudos to him. His son left school, came to Lagos, brought, bought a car, and he, he sent him back. Said, which day did you leave school and you're coming here with that's the best? Right. Yeah, Go cool. back. <laughs> Take the car to wherever and you brought it. Yeah. <laughs> and but that's these why, days, yeah. parents will celebrate. They will dance around. Yeah. You know? So when these values are not passed down, you find out that any way you get it. And so when you come, when the chief is giving you cheap test why wouldn't the poor celebrate you? Yeah. And so the best way, you keep them perpetually poor. That's so it. they con con continue. And, and that so that's the point I that's, was trying to make. That's wow. why I think you're being a little bit unfair okay. when you judge those who do go out and have to beg. No, in all honesty, because I don't think anybody would necessarily choose to be a beggar. No, I think people uh, no, choose. No, allow, allow me to finish. <laughs> they do now. The, no, anyway, that's what I mean. Finish. Allow me yeah, to let finish. Me have finish. Right? So I don't think anybody would necessarily choose to be a beggar because even the security guards that you refer to, how many of them, are, they work what? 12-hour shifts, what's the average salary of a security guard? What's the average cost of transport? Yes, what's the point. cost of food? Do you understand? I've once said there was, there's a place where we all Amal buy food Goudou. from. Yes, our man go do, thank you. You know, where, you know, the security guard, I'd say, why are you being so sluggish? He said, I never had chop since. I said, why? You get yeah, a salary. He said, they haven't paid us for two months. Right? Now, that doesn't... I'm not happy about people having to I come to, to me you now, the to Nigerian beg. Army has not received yeah, salary. I'm not happy. I don't months. find it... I, I find it very disturbing when grown people are coming to me from an unfortunate... I didn't even have... I think we were all together that day. Yeah, when no, we went to buy me, that food. Yeah, you told me. Yeah, and I didn't, have any, I didn't have any money. And you could see that the guy was really, really weak. That's so that's why I'm saying that. Let's be careful. That's number one. Number two, there is... I come back to what you were saying and whilst you were talking I remember the unity schools 
even if I didn't go back to the unity schools. Mm -hmm. I remember the unity schools and I remember that a lot of the industrialists that we have now, most of them didn't come from rich families, but their parents worked so hard, they gathered money together for them to go to King's College, you name it. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, name me all the Queen's College, Queens College Federal Methodist, Government Methodist Colleges, Federal Government St. Colleges, St. Greg's. St. Greg's. A lot of them, they didn't come from rich families, but you know what? They wanted, they were still ambitious enough and honest enough to send their children to schools for where they would future. mix with children of ministers. And it didn't matter whether what class you came from at the yeah. time, did it? Yeah, that's because true. it didn't matter. So that's part of where we began to lose. I mean, let, let yeah, me come in, let me come in a bit here. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Were you going to say something? Exactly. Okay, let me come in a bit here. Yes, right. I had to, for the purposes of just that presentation, you can't say everything, just summarize it. But I'm not looking at people as beggars you, you. by virtue of whether they're poor or not. I'm looking at the culture. The, the psychology where your eyes on someone else's pocket rather than the dignity because I find that sometimes even when people hunger even when people may exactly. it's sometimes no but sometimes it's not even about hunger sometimes you look at it and you say this person doesn't know me the, the way people beg now is indiscriminate have you ever been truly hungry no no it's not about that no, you're mixing not, up no, no, issues no, 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 that's not you're mixing up issues no, that's yeah. not what even when saying. I have okay, needs I'm having to be selected okay, no you're acting as if I'm not amongst everyone you. else people, but what I'm trying to say is some you, people you still take it as a way of life yeah there's no shame yes there are if there was shame the there was shame. Anyway, no, allow me. Even in the UK, even... there are those who beg for a living. No, that, of course. What yes. I'm saying is, I'm in talking Nigeria, about a culture. Yeah, but what I'm even saying in Nigeria is that, honestly, until we have been truly known what is like not to be able to put food in the mouth for I 14 years. I think that's not the point. You can have somebody who is well to do and they're still eyeing someone better than them. It's not about being poor. I think what Ekene is saying is the dignity of self. It's agreeable. We all agree that yes, there's poverty, and some people had to beg to augment. But there are some people that is just we just beg for the sake of it because they are because you are a security man. Mm. You don't even have children. Your money, yeah, you live with somebody, money, and yet you because every time you, you pass see somebody's your, car, uh, you, you say, say yeah, I'll I'll us, anything you know? for the weekend." So there's no more shame. No, in that's it. and for me, it's even worse. I get that. That's, that's what she's hijacked. talking about. I do yes. get she's talking that. Talking about the hijack. I do yes. get that. And so I, I are we believing then that the majority of the people who beg in this country are hijackers? No. Are hijackers? No, no, no. There you go. No, no, no. But there's enough of them. Also, let me give you another. No, but there's an exception. There's an exception. Let me give you another style of begging. It may not even come across as begging. It's actually before. just grease okay. my palm for everything. <laughs> no, yes, it's true. That was, I was going to grease my that's palm an example. for everything. People, people are in, in jobs. To They're supposed to actually right? do You're their doing your job. job. But yeah, for, I'll tell you that I used to work for um, a, a TV corporation, and I, you know, I'll do a story, and I, I need to, I need to take it to the editor to edit for me. It's the editor's job. Oh. Mm -hmm. But oh no, I have to talk to the editor nicely. nicely. Promise him that I have to buy. I'll buy him yeah. chicken. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah, I cannot um, edit my work. Or even work put it go, out yeah. on time. It's wrong. And that was how it was. Or yeah. when I was doing my NYSE and the guy that was supposed to sign my... my uh Clearance. clearance, you know, he'll be looking at me, and I knew I had to drop something, so he would sign so the it's clearance. It's the culture so that, I'm dealing so with. Now, I, 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 right, I gets in the way of you. every day. That's, yeah, but, that's, that, that, but that's, if it's the culture we're talking about, which is why I Whether learned from culture. culture. Yeah, which is why I learned from Liboros and what Liboros said, and come back into historically how we were because you asked you said about iroko tree mm. how we were and how we eventually lost our way yeah. so we were like an iroko tree yeah. we, whether you were poor or rich the dignity it was, of even self. there was dignity in, yeah. in whatever there was you had just you having a yes. heart yeah. 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 My, my question is can we not yes, that's why they will kill up no. so can we not my question money. is can we not because if we, if we keep think, waiting on the politicians you know, they're not necessarily going I, to be reformed do how do we reclaim our dignity I, I, in spite of the environment well you cannot give money to beggars but then do you know whether they're begging for real or not you can't even train your children to be people of dignity yes you can free slope the way we can just getting worse the dignity in our own very little way. As I'm here now, I know how many school fees I'm paying Precisely. for children in my Stop community. Stop announcing. And Somebody will add another one. No, yeah. no, no. <laughs> because we need to bridge the gap, the yes. equality gap. Yes. yes. If we bridge the inequality gap, you are reducing the numbers of people that will beg from you yes. in future or beg from your children. Because okay. if you don't yes. assist them now Absolutely. to come up, your when children, the revolution you only, happens, if you are the only rich man in the community, and you train yeah. only your children. You yeah. train only your children. You're a poor man. You're a poor man because yeah. they will end up now.
consistently begging for your job. Before we close, before we close, I think that this all started from the um, from the people who um, fought for our independence. I always yeah. say it. They are the ones who taught us how to look for money. Mm -hmm. They taught us how to be the up people, and some people would be down. Mm -hmm. They started this class thing because yeah. the Oibos came here. Uh, um, Uche said it as we began that it doesn't have anything to do with the Oibos coming here, colonizing us, and making us suddenly now realize that somebody was our master, mm -hmm. whereas we had been masters of ourselves. Mm -hmm. And then they left, and we didn't know what to do after that. And then so and some people said, "Oh, over. somebody must take over." After and you know why you? And, and so we have some people that, and that's why they are wicked. A master can only be yeah. that we care. You know? And why you may be correct is the fact that we didn't actually fight for our independence. We negotiate ourselves to okay, independence. To independence yeah. So there goes our courage after all. Wow. <laughs> okay, well, that was a lively session as usual, which makes it difficult to round things off. Happily, we can continue the conversation on our social media platforms, Facebook plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. On Instagram and Twitter at plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. Let's continue advocating for a better society. Bye bye. Ciao. That should not be, a, for my own opinion, it's not going to be the end of the relationship. I will ask, uh, I will sit her down for us to have a one on one conversation. What actually led to she cheating on me? I will know the cause. Is there something I'm not doing that she wants? from me and she gets on uh, uh, from the other person if I find out that okay this is what she's doing or this is what she wants and I'm not doing it I'll try and put myself in the position of doing that kind of, uh, that particular thing so that to take her because of the love I have for her I'm going to have her back do that thing perhaps I'm going to do more than what she expects so that I'll do everything to, to get her back to me Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem and this and that. One of the reasons why we don't have more women in politics and enjoys for as long as political meetings continue to take place in the middle of the night. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's really. disastrous for a president to, even to be unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy it's was a very terrible. Backfire. A terrible strategy. <laughs> because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities and quite frankly Nigeria is becoming a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. Yeah.